Hiya, today we're going to look at different braking systems. Uh, the main two differences, uh, we have disc brakes, like these two, and rim brakes, like this lot. Um, so the rim brake is where the braking system presses onto the rim to stop the wheel. And the disc brake is added an extra disc um, and the braking system clamps onto the back to stop the wheel. But the same, same idea for, for both of them. You need to stop the wheel from rotating. Um, the first type of brake, actually, um, one of them was just a rod that pressed down onto the tyre and it evolved um, to this. Um, with disc brakes, there's two differences. Um, we've got cabled disc brakes like this and hydraulic disc brakes like this. Um, the cable, you should be able to actually see a bit of cable right down at the bottom. Um, and the hydraulic, you won't be able to see any cable exposed and there'll probably be a little uh, reservoir, as it's called, um, up on your levers. Uh, the way the hydraulic ones work is the same as a power system. Um, there's a sealed unit of oil liquid in the pipe and when you press the lever, it moves that bit of liquid, presses the pistons, um, which are in here, again, the brake pads, and they clamp on the disc. Um, the cable one, uh, we've just got a physical cable that runs from the brake lever all the way down here. It physically pulls that, which pushes the pistons onto the brake pad. The brake pads clamp onto the disc, which stops the wheel from moving. This one has B brakes. They're the most common type of brakes. I don't know why they're called B brakes, because they don't look like a V. Maybe when you pop them out, I guess, they look a bit like a V. The easiest way to identify them is this silver piping called a noodle. It makes it really easy to open and close the brakes in order to take the wheel in and out. But yeah, they've got a cable in the lever, runs all the way down, pulls the pads together on the rim. Uh, this has got cantilevers, um, found on older style mountain bikes or modern cross or touring bikes. Um, and these ones actually look like a V, so they've got a straddle wire, but um, they're called cantilevers. They usually also have a quick release cable for getting your wheel in and out. Canties work on the same principles as rim V-brakes. As you pull the cable, they push the pads onto the rim. So although this has drop bars with drop levers like this, um, it's also got inline interrupters as they're called. So the same cable goes to the interrupter and to the drop lever. So you have the option of riding up here or riding down here. Um, and if you have a road bike and you find, or if you have drop bars and you find that you're often up here, but you don't have levers here, um, it is a, quite a good upgrade to make. Um, so you've got access to brakes. Um, and then we have caliper, road brake calipers. Um, so this is a modern, Modern caliper, it's called a dual pivot, there's two pivots in it. On this uh, dual pivot caliper, they normally have a quick release like that. Um, this is a centre pull, because um, it pulls up the centre. And this is an old school side pull, um, like that. Once you've identified what type of brake you have, you can research what type of brake pads to buy and how to replace them.